It's already two o'clock this morning. We was called to um, a gentleman in Jersey Close. Um, he had had a fall whilst going to the bathroom and was stuck on his bathroom floor. We um, turned up and his neighbour had called us and his neighbour helps look after him and uh, do certain things, cooking for him, etc. And um, we went in and we then called for an ambulance to get medical assessment because the gentleman was complaining of symptoms of a stroke. Originally found him, he was trapped on his bathroom floor, stuck in the doorway, and he was stuck on his side. This has given him problems to breathe. So first of all, we used one sheet to help slide him onto his back and get him set up against the wall so he could breathe properly and the paramedic could carry out a full assessment. Then we then had to bring in the big blue sheet with the handles on him and then the rest of the six of us then, including the paramedic, slid him onto the sheet, then slid him through from the bathroom into his hallway, into his living room, where then we could reposition him then li- and all of us had to help lift him up onto his chair, where basically he's, he lives his life sat in his chair, watching television, etc. And from there then the paramedic made a full assessment on him and then I wait for a doctor to come along and give him a further detailed inspection this morning. Okay, that's fine. And how, how unusual is this kind of call? Um, unfortunately, it's not that unusual. Um, I can't speak for the Hampshire Fire and Rescue Service, but myself personally, probably go to one every couple of months we go to assist ambulance, help them move these extra large people. Um, so much so, the ambulance have invested in a Pacific vehicle for moving large people, but the fire brigade has used their own large box vans to move these people to hospital. It's, it's nothing unusual to help the ambulance move someone within the regions of 40 stone.